Peggy 12. I'm Łukasz Żarnowiecki. I'm CEO and lead programmer in Creative Forge Games. For a long, long time, we all were big fans of Space RTS games. We were wondering why nobody makes another full 3D RTS. So one day, we simply decided to fill this gap in the market. Navigation in ancient space allows full 3D movement, meaning you can order your units in all three axes. The Ulysses II expedition will need to defend itself and its allies from hostiles. Objectives range from regular defend, seek and destroy, capturing ships and installations, to transporting sensitive cargo and pursuing fleeing craft. Tactical combat is an essential part of the battlefield situation in ancient space. We've introduced four different size classes, many units with their unique look and feel and set of abilities. There are really many great looking space games and we wanted to set us apart. In order to do it, we came up with the idea of the Black Zone which is a portion of interplanetary space filled with gases, asteroids, and all kind of debris. We wanted to make our space in ancient space more of a living environment, like the coral reef. Throughout the campaign, you collect module schematics that you can exchange for carrier upgrades. In addition to that, your flagship can change setups from a more support-oriented to a more combat-oriented. Each of more than a dozen officers in the game has a unique ability that can tip the balance of the battle your way. Looking at ancient space, we knew right from the start that it would be really hard to have a story where the characters would be the central parts. So instead, we focused on the actual mission. One of the first things we said was that ancient space was a NASA mission and not something like Star Wars, which is very operatic and heavy on melodrama. It's not a rip-roaring adventure. It's a little bit more of a contemplative mystery kind of thing. During recording, we actually had NASA transmissions for the actors to listen to. And even if there are dramatic events unfolding, the, uh, the characters will always keep their level professional edge. It was really important for us to get the right voice actors. We ended up with something really special, I think, where we have actors and one actress from just about every corner of sci-fi fandom. One thing we really love about many space games is the opportunity to discover. One of the really good ways of doing that is making sure you have a home. Han Solo has his Millennium Falcon, Captain Kirk has his Enterprise, Malcolm Reynolds has the Serenity, and we have one called the Ulysses II. It's this huge aircraft carrier building machine in space that you guide along. We kind of think of it as an extra character in the game, especially since the ship's computer is voiced by the wonderful Dwight Schultz. He sort of adds a really cool personality to the whole thing. We here at Paradox and a lot of guys at Creative Forge have put an extreme amount of effort into this game and uh, we all hope that you think it's as shiny as we do.